Hello again, this is Woody Adams here, and we're in QuickBooks Online. And this short video is going to focus on when you're importing your chart of accounts into the chart of accounts in your QuickBooks Online file. So a few things to point out because the chart of accounts that I have have account numbers. Uh, when you start a new QuickBooks Online file, there's no way to suppress the generation or auto generation of chart of accounts. So when I go to the gear icon and go to my chart of accounts, you know, I've already imported them. I'll show you the import process, but the ones with the numbers are the ones that came in from my spreadsheet. The ones that are not are the ones that QBO generated. So the ones that QBO generated that you need, like say accounts receivable, just go ahead and edit it and then put in the number. Okay, you can assign account numbers. I'll show you how to turn that on. Uh, but those accounts are going to be normal for most chart of accounts, so you're going to keep those. Um, all, the ones that don't and you do not need, if you particularly find one that you just do not need, like maybe billable expense income, then what you do is just highlight it and click delete. And what will happen is it will actually take it off of the chart of accounts and make it inactive. But it will not show up in reports so long as there's no transactions or amounts in there. So that's what I uh, suggest you do for the auto-generated chart of accounts that QBO just puts on there and there's no way really to suppress that and then you'll have your nice chart of accounts uh, once you import them in. So delete them just by highlighting and then just go ahead and click delete and then click yes and it'll remove it from the particular uh, chart of accounts. And like I said you're gonna click on advanced and then you'll see uh, chart of accounts account numbers you just click on the little pencil check off the box click save and then you're done right and now let's go back to the chart of accounts itself under the gear icon and then settings chart of accounts and you'll notice that there's this assign account numbers tab on the upper right of the chart of accounts window so you go ahead and click that and it'll bring you into what you guys just saw the assign account number window now all these numbers you're seeing are match the chart of accounts that I've already imported and you're going to import the same chart of accounts for the course you're doing into QuickBooks Online. I'm going to show you that next and then anything that doesn't have a number just go ahead and put it in an account that assuming you're keeping you know to go along with your others or just like I showed before delete the ones that you don't want as long as they don't have a balance in there they won't show up on reports at all so to, to import your chart of accounts you're going to click on the gear icon again under tools and then import data and then you're going to choose chart of accounts. Now we do give a sample file you could download but since you already have the Excel spreadsheet you know there's no reason to copy from it to another Excel spreadsheet just to choose another file so just go ahead and click choose file and then browse out you know to your, wherever you have the chart of accounts uh, spreadsheet saved. In my case it's right here and you're going to click open and then click continue and you do this in the same way as with uh, vendors, customers, and your products and services. The only difference with the chart of accounts is you're actually going to delete, quote unquote, make inactive the accounts that we auto-generate when you create the QBO subscription uh, so that you just have the chart of accounts you need for your course and no other. Step two is to map the fields. They're pretty much auto-mapped. I just left them and you click continue and then here you're going to review the data for all the accounts then you're going to go ahead and click import 20 records and it'll just take a little while and then you will see it on your chart of accounts as well hope that was helpful have a great